communist CA declares itself sanctuary state, Trump's DHS has brilliant counteroffer. California might as well be its own communist country after declaring itself a sanctuary state. However, they've got another thing coming if they think President Donald Trump is going to let them get away with such lawlessness. The Department of Homeland Security has issued a brilliant counteroffer to California's new sanctuary policy, and you're going to love it. President Donald Trump made a lot of promises to the American people on the campaign trail, as all candidates do when they're running for office. However, the thing which sets Trump apart from politicians who pander to their voter base in a shameless attempt to secure their support is that fact that Trump has actually followed through with the majority of the vows he made to Americans. One of the key promises then-candidate Donald Trump made was to clean up the streets of America. Deporting illegal aliens is essential to making America safe again, but a new report suggests that the Trump administration is willing to go even further in their quest to get a handle on the rampant illegal immigration which is plaguing our country. According to Stephen Dinan of The Washington Times, Homeland Security head Kirstjen Nielsen told the Senate Judiciary Committee on Tuesday that her department is preparing to arrest leaders of sanctuary cities. Homeland Security Secretary Kirst Jim Nielsen confirmed Tuesday that her department has asked federal prosecutors to see if they can lodge criminal charges against sanctuary cities that refuse to cooperate with federal deportation efforts. The Department of Justice is reviewing what avenues may be available, Ms. Nielsen told the Senate Judiciary Committee. Her confirmation came after California's new sanctuary law went into effect January 1 severely restricting cooperation the state or any of its localities could offer. Source, Washington Times This would not be the first time an official has called for the arrest of leaders of sanctuary cities. Previously, Bristol County Sheriff Thomas Hodgson told the House Subcommittee on Illegal Immigration that sanctuary cities have become magnets for illegal aliens, some of which have violent criminal records. If these sanctuary cities are going to harbor and conceal criminal illegal aliens from ICE, which is in direct violation of Title VIII of the U.S. Code, federal arrest warrants should be issued for their elected officials, said Hodgson. Our citizens would be safer if we never stopped enforcing immigration law and if we never formed or turned a blind eye toward sanctuary cities. According to the Gateway Pundit, in October, the Department of Justice gave a final warning to four sanctuary cities in one county after they failed to comply with federal immigration laws, saying in a statement. The Justice Department today responded to seven jurisdictions following a preliminary assessment of the jurisdiction's compliance with 8 U.S.C. 1373. These jurisdictions were identified in a May 2016 report by the Department of Justice's Inspector General as having laws that potentially violate 8 U.S.C. 1373. The following jurisdictions have preliminarily been found to have laws, policies, or practices that may violate 8 U.S.C. 1373. Cook County, Illinois. Chicago, Illinois. New Orleans, Louisiana. New York. New York, and Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Attorney General Jeff Sessions said at the time, jurisdictions that adopt so-called sanctuary policies also adopt the view that the protection of criminal aliens is more important than the protection of law-abiding citizens and of the rule of law. I commend the Milwaukee County Sheriff's Office and the State of Connecticut on their commitment to complying with Section 1373 and I urge all jurisdictions found to be out of compliance in this preliminary review to reconsider their policies that undermine the safety of their residents," added Sessions. We urge jurisdictions to not only comply with Section 1373 but to establish sensible and effective partnerships to properly process criminal aliens. Homeland Security Head Curse Jim Nielsen's testimony on Tuesday appears to be a follow-up to this warning by Sessions a few months ago. Since then, California became the first sanctuary state after Governor Jerry Brown signed legislation which essentially puts law enforcement agencies statewide in violation of federal immigration laws. That legislation took effect on January 1, and it appears that the Trump administration is wasting no time in dolling out repercussions to those local leaders who buck federal immigration law, 
thereby putting the American people at risk in order to accommodate individuals who broke the law by coming here in the first place. First place.